friends, this is Fire on Pop, and I'm here with a real interesting uh, subject, and uh, this is going to be a series. I am, guess what, I am building my own AR-15. That's right, uh, the picture you see here is not mine. <laughs> uh, hopefully someday it will look like that. But what I have is, uh, I got started at this last show I went to, I was able to pick up an AR receiver lower. Uh, now, <clears throat> this is I'm trying to get you a <clears throat> close up of it. As you can see, it is far from ready to be used. This is a build it yourself. This all has to be hollowed out and removed. Uh, holes must be drilled. Okay, that comes out. That's where the trigger mechanism goes in. And uh, I'll be putting this together piece by piece. Not only just finishing this receiver uh, and getting it ready to receive parts, but uh, I'm going to try to video or, or capture this step by step at least. Uh, now, this was purchased is it's a kit so I am really making my own gun this does not have a serial number normally when you buy a finished receiver it would have a serial number as you can see there is no serial number on this this is going to be strictly a homemade firearm no serial number no markings whatsoever so this is going to be interesting it's a learning exercise for me if I'm going to have an AR which I never have you never see me with one uh, uh, what better way to uh, learn it than to build it from the ground up and that's what I'm going to be doing I've ordered a kit with all the internal parts to this section right here and when that comes in I'll be digging this out completing the holes and assembling all the parts uh, so it's going to be fun I'm going to like I said start this as a series and uh, I'll keep you in the loop and you'll see how it comes along so wish me luck um, love some uh, advice anybody who's done this before um, advice is, is cheap okay <laughs> no problem I appreciate all the help I can get because I'm kind of a babe in the woods here but uh, I think it'll be fun to do so unless I mess it up really bad and this is the start of a whole new project so hang in there there'll be more videos to follow as I as I uh, proceed with this in order to, to, to do this I had to go and get a, uh, it's a Dremel type tool it's not a Dremel uh, variable, variable speed rotary tool and uh, what the, the few videos I have seen tells you to use bits like this to core out that center so I've got the bits I've got the tool just need the time now to start working on it so uh, we'll be back this is part one of what will probably be many parts before this is finished <clears throat> hope you hang in there and watch them with me this is fire on pop you be safe out there and god bless bye now